Thank you, Trescon, for arranging this event and for having me and for the opportunity. I'm going to speak a little bit about our product, uh, Phoenix, in the context of yield. I think some of you, maybe all of you at some point, have sought good, stable sources of yield generation in crypto, even outside of crypto. A lot of us invest in the private residential real estate market, the public um, real estate market as well through ETFs, and also we invest in a range of other assets that typically also yield a little bit. Now, in crypto, there have been quite a few problems that have uh, cropped up over the last few years. The last cycle was obviously the peak was marked by the downfall of Luna, which was an algorithmic stable coin, and that, if you recall, was yielding 15 to 20 percent stable. That seemed almost too good to be true, and it really was. So I'm going to speak a little bit about the problems that we find in the market um, in crypto when it comes to yield, how we solve that problem with Phoenix. I hate to use the word revolutionary. I would say it's more evolutionary rather than revolutionary, and I'll tell you why. And then I'll also go over the product a little bit in detail and then discuss also the team and also the risk factors. So. As I mentioned earlier, the, the problem is pretty salient in crypto. Generally speaking, the mass, the, I would say the large amount of capital, whether it's retail or institutional, is resting the hand of centralized staking platforms. Uh, this was certainly the case before things like Celsius and BlockFi happened. But even on the DeFi side, we see, as with Curve yesterday, that hacks and a range of nefarious actors make it almost impossible for investors around the world to St safely store and generate yield over the long term. In crypto, generally speaking, when you're giving your money to platforms, um, they are taking your capital and they're saying, okay, we're going to pay you 8% or 12% or whatever per year, but your capital is generally locked up, not all the time, but most of the time. And what they are doing with that money, you will never know until it's too late. And you generally find out, as we've seen with all the cascading bankruptcies, that what they do is they prop trade your capital without your permission. And yes, while you can generate good yields temporarily, annual percentage yield is, gener is normally measured on an annual basis. And it never really takes that long before one of these platforms goes under. So this is a big problem. And whether you are looking for yield even outside the crypto markets, um, generally speaking, you are trading against the broker. The broker is always or is rarely on your side. So what do we do with Phoenix. With Phoenix, we've sort of evolved yield hunting. And what we're doing is we've sought out the most stable and safe source of yield in crypto. And that basically is literally market making. And what I mean by that is today, if you want to buy or sell Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can, of course, go on a major exchange like Kraken or Binance or Coinbase, or you can go to a decentralized exchange and interact directly with the smart contracts and buy your, um, the, the desired currency that you wish to or sell. However, since concentrated liquidity mining began two years ago through Uniswap, this has largely been democratized. Only many people don't know how to access it. And if they do know how to access liquidity, uh, liquidity pooling or liquidity farming, um, it's a very complex process and also a process that involves risks. What Phoenix basically does, it's a simple Mac or PC app that you download and soon we're launching a web version which allows you to park capital and become a market maker. So you're not speculatively trading your money, long or short, Bitcoin or anything, you're literally providing liquidity for the markets. And as a result, the app allows you to earn yield passively. Now the yield ranges, we have three tiers. If you're low risk, basically you can get into the buffer program. If you are medium risk, you can get into the cruise program and the highest risk is the Ignite program. Now we, we, we put these risk tiers mainly for risk averse investors, but in general you will see the way these liquidity pools are designed. It allows the average retail investor or institutional investor at a pretty reduced risk to generate some pretty impressive returns, all the way from 20 to 30 percent on the higher side, all the way down to just 7 percent, 7 to 10 percent if you're extremely low risk. The key differentiating factor, as I mentioned earlier here, is the fact that the yield is real. It's Pure, it's, it's totally transparent, it's identifiable, and the source of yield is literally buyers and sellers of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is very rare for a yield program to show you transparently how your yield is being generated, and that's what we basically do differently across different risk tiers. For 
more advanced clients. We also offer hedging solutions. Those who don't want to have any exposure to impermanent losses, those do come at a price, but we also, of course, offer that as well. A little bit about the team. So, um, as my colleagues mentioned earlier, uh, I run a venture firm with my co-founders. We're based in London and in Cyprus. And we also have some of our investors in Singapore over the last few years. Um, the team is primarily comprised of financial engineers from JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. That's where I worked before. As an executive director, I, I was in equities. And then we formed Hatchworks over the years. And we have rolled out a range of successful products. Phoenix is our flagship product. Now, there are some risk factors. I went over a few uh, just in a bit. The market conditions, of course, can impact the value of the currencies that you're providing liquidity in. The good news is that we only focus on Ethereum and Bitcoin and USDC. USDC is very well regulated, um, very liquid and very well backed. Uh, impermanent loss, of course, has been a problem for liquidity providers, but this is where our financial engineering skills come in and we provide asymmetric liquidity. So this also allows you to really have reduced exposure when it comes to impermanent loss. That's a, a key USP. And then, of course, regulations. Regulations can impact the state of DEXs. Uh, Uniswap, for example, is the world's largest uh, very well-recognized DEX, very secure DEX as well. But of course, there are uncertainties when it comes to regulatory futures in the US. And with that, I'm open to questions. I think I see no questions, so we're good. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty clear. All good? I think we're good. If you guys want to learn more about Phoenix, uh, feel free to come over um, to our stand. We're just in the other room. We'll be here today and tomorrow as well.